Hello, I'm David Neese, the Vice President of Engineering at Grady White Boats. And today I'm going to talk to you about Grady White's new Canyon 271. The Canyon 271 is the newest in Grady White's line of the Canyon series, which is the large center console line for Grady White. The Canyon 271 is a 27 foot boat with a nine and a half foot beam. Like all Grady Whites, the Canyon 271 is built on a C. Raymond Hunt hull, which has a CV2 hull bottom under it, giving you exemplary ride offshore, a nice soft ride with its sharp bow and with its flatter transom, a stable ride as well when you're drifting and around the dock. You'll find that to be true in all conditions and a wonderful ride. Like all Grady Whites, the Canyon 271 is unsinkable. It has foam flotation, so it will not sink. Like all Grady Whites, the Canyon 271 also has another safety feature, which is a self-bailing cockpit. All the boxes and the cockpit, everything that you put water in, in the 271 drains overboard without a, without a, a macerator pump, so you don't have the maintenance and aggravation of dealing with an extra piece of equipment. The Canyon 271 has handrails throughout the boat. It also has tow rails and other built-in safety features that you have become accustomed to seeing on Grady White boats. We've been talking about the features on the Canyon 271 that are similar to other features on Grady White boats like foam flotation and self bailing but I want to talk to you now a little bit about the features in the bow of the boat that make the Canyon 271 very unique. We've reconfigured the seating in the bow of the Canyon 271 to be different from the seating in our other Canyon series boats. We've moved the seating to the center and made lounge seating and a lounge box forward. What that does for us is opens up the side of the boat all the way around for fishing. So you have excellent access to the water for fishing all the way around the boat from stem to stern. The other thing that does is creates a very large seat on center line. So I can sit here when we're traveling back and forth or when we, we anchor up and I've got a nice comfortable seat. I'm a bigger than average guy, 6'1", and heavier than I need to be. And I have plenty of room here for another person to sit beside me and enjoy the beautiful view and the scenery and, and relax while we're out on the water. The other thing that happens when we reconfigure this, we have a very large box underneath. We, this is our lounge box. And when you open this up, uh, you can see some things that we put in there, there to show you how this can be configured. This is what we have done. You can do it many ways to suit your needs and your taste. But what we have here is a box that at, at the basics are 389 quarts. It is foam insulated and it drains overboard. We have a petition in here that's removable. We have it installed now. We have some ice and some drinks behind it. We actually have 60 pounds of ice behind this partition and about a dozen drinks. And it's not half full. So there's quite a bit of capacity back here to use for a lot of different things. That compartment drains and keeps the forward compartment dry when the partition is in place. Forward of the partition, we have two five gallon buckets, one with a cast net, one with a dozen or so lures hanging in there, and a very large tackle bag. And that box as well, or that portion of the box, is not half full. So there's a lot of capacity in this configuration that we have not used. If you choose to do that, you can, you can lift the partition out and have the full 389 quart fish box that is self bailing and, and foam insulated for fishing capacity. So when you're offshore catching those big tuna, you've got a good place to put them. Okay, there's even more in the bow of the Canyon 271 that will give you a great day fishing offshore or cruising around and, and just relaxing for the day. Notice the built-in handrail all the way around the deck for safety so you can hold on no matter what you're doing. Notice the built-in cup holders, netting for storage, built-in speakers. There's even lighting for the bow under each of these pods underneath so your whole floor is lit at night as you use the boat. Moving forward, you'll notice flush mount cleats throughout the boat so all cleats are flush mounted. The bow light is flush mounted. The anchor windlass is also below a lid, below decks, very dry, very isolated from the bilge, so no water goes to your bilge uh, through the anchor windlass. And there's an anchor chute through the hull that lets the anchor out and brings the anchor and road back in. And below decks, even there's a lid, so that as you open that up, you can Manage the chain and road if need be, and from the helm you can see that chain and road coming in as you're bringing the anchor up so you know exactly what's going on as the captain of the boat. Well now let's move to the helm area and talk about some of the features and benefits that are here 
And we'll start with the hardtop. There's a lot going on in the hardtop. It's all new for the Canyon 271. There's built-in LED spreader lights, built-in LED down lights to light up underneath the, the uh, hardtop so that you can see your helm at night. There's a storage bag in the top for storing life jackets and throw cushions and flare kits and a lot of things that you need to have at your fingertips for safety reasons. There's rod holders built into the hardtop. Handrails overhead built into the hardtop. So a lot going on, good sun coverage for safety from the UV rays when you're offshore, when you're cruising, and comfort on those hot days. Then you move to the helm, and there's a lot going on here as well. We're, we're showing some electronics installed here, but there's room here for two 15-inch screens if you choose to put them there. Uh, always on Grady White's, so the ergonomics of the helm is good. You know, your, helm, your shifter, your wheel are right at your hands, right at your fingertips where they need to be, whether you're standing or whether you're seated. Notice that the lean bar has a pad that raises to make it a good stand-up lean bar, or you can lower it and have great seating as well. So it's a very comfortable place to be standing or seated. Notice the compass on center line with the wheel. Switches right at your fingertips. Lots of storage place, spaces to put things down up on top of the console with rails around it and drainage forward to keep that, that part of the uh, console dry if it needs to be uh, uh, dry for you and you put things up there that maybe like cameras or uh, glasses and things you don't want to have wet. Stereo built in, two DC outlets that you can plug in for uh, charging cell phones or whatever it is that you're taking on board with you. You could go on and on about the features and benefits. We've talked about a lot of things. Notice too, there's two cup holders built in. There's also even a bow thruster on this boat. A bow thruster is a great tool when you're around the dock in those tight conditions that we all get in. And you can say it's a sissy stick and all that stuff, but if you get one, I promise you the day will come when, you're, when you'll be glad that you have it. And let's not forget, in addition to all the other features that are on the Canyon 271, there's also a very roomy head compartment with lots of storage, and this particular one is outfitted with a marine head. Well, you can't have a discussion about a Grady White without talking about a cockpit, because here's where a lot of the work is done. There's so many features. Let's start with a 42-gallon recirculating live well standard on the Canyon 271 a 32 gallon optional recirculating live well in the port corner. The port live well that's optional can also be, will also be standard in the boat as a tank that you can use as a cooler or for dry storage because all of our coolers work as well for dry storage too. On center line back here is a 198 quart fish box. Add that to the 398 quart fish box that's forward and you do the math. That's a lot of fish storage or dry storage if you want to do it. There is fresh water here at the lean bar, fresh water at the transom. There's a sink at the lean bar that can be used with the fresh water that's here. There's tackle storage below. There's seating in the back. And I know if you've been offshore very much, like me, you've probably fallen asleep right here on a cooler. Well, this is a lot more comfortable with the cooler. And when you stand and you want it gone and you want your cockpit space back, it's completely out of the way and it's just that simple. Six rod holders in the gunnels. Again, flush mount cleats transom door, handrails, knife and plier holders, rod holders up top, lots of features just from here back in the Canyon 271. Powered with Yamaha's F300s, the Canyon 271 tops out at 56 miles an hour, cruises easily at 30 miles an hour at almost two miles per gallon. So whether it's the safety of foam flotation or self bailing, the seating throughout the boat, the handrails, or the uniqueness of the bow of the Canyon 271, it could certainly be the best boat your family ever owned. I'll be out there soon. Hope to see you. Bye.